What's up everyone, my name is Andrew Fong. Welcome back to another hands-on tutorial that helps you learn programming through building interesting projects like this one. So today I'm going to show you how you can use the ad scraping results from the previous video and do competitive analysis by plotting graphs on Streamlit. So just a short recap of the last video, we have built the interface for users to control how many times they want each keyword to be scraped and add their own keywords by adding text in Streamlit. And we are also able to get the resultant data frame from the ad scraping results generated. And for today's video, we'll be focusing on plotting graphs, including this graph, which shows how likely each keyword has ads on it. So task management has more ads than ETF uh, project management. We are also able to plot a graph to tell which company is actually more influential than others based on how many times they appear on ads. So for example, and we take a look at Home and also Submeta, they actually appeared three times out of 10 T keywords in total. So they appear quite often comparing to other companies, which usually accounts for only one times for their own specific keyword. Following that will be the individual graphs to show the list of companies ranking for this keyword. We compare the performance based on the absolute top, bottom, and top. So when you take a look at NFT, Coin United actually dominated this uh, landscape, while for crypto, there's only two. And for ETF, there are actually much more uh, companies ranking for this which makes this uh, graph looks more uh, interesting and sophisticated. So that's what we'll be building today. And without further ado, let's get started. Check out Scraper API, which is actually very easy for us to do web scraping without having to tackle all the unwanted anti web scraping behaviors from websites. And if you haven't signed up for this, please use the link in the description to sign up for a free trial with 5,000 free requests. And if you find Scraper API very useful to you or you have a frequent need for web scraping, you can consider picking a plan and using my promo code AF10 for 10% discounts. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, in the last video, we have created a function which is called display scraper result, but we haven't defined it yet. So whenever we click the display result button, it will sh trigger this function. And we can go ahead and define it on top now. Define sc display scraper results. And let me go ahead and hide these two functions we are done with. Um, let's go ahead and create a title first. So title, uh, we can name it as, uh, we, can, we can use a bar chart um, emoji to show the analysis visualizer and read the corresponding data, f data frame from the CSV. So remind you that uh, whenever we trigger the at scraper and turning JSON to data frame, we will also export this uh, data frame into CSV with uh, at scraper results.csv. So we can go ahead and read this data frame from this CSV. So data frame equals pandas.read uh, CSV. That will be at scraping results. So let's copy this and paste it here. So every time the program is run, the ad scraper the result CSV will be replaced. So this will make sure that we always get the, we always fetch the newest and fresh data. Now I just print out the data frame. So uh, print data frame equals the uh, st streamlit dot data frame and put in data frame. After that, we will be defining the list of keywords judging from the data frame. So we can do that uh, by looking at the data frame first. So, okay, so let's display results. 
and we can see the companies and the keywords so first we need to identify the list of keywords inside this um, data frame so we can do that by um, keywords keywords equals data frame keyword the, this keyword column we only find the unique ones unique and turn it to a list so we have a list of keywords and keywords selection alternatively equals streamlit.multiselect so the keywords for the users to be uh, selected are the keywords and the default is also uh, everything that is selected so it's keywords also okay so if the keyword is not selected so if not in keywords selection then we can print out the error trimlet error which is please select uh, excuse me select at least one keyword to display the data display the data frame Okay, and after they have submitted their keyword selection, we can filter the data frame by giving it a mask. Mask equals data frame keyword dot is in keyword selection. Then we can see the number of results equals data frame dot mask. So we put in the filter, which is whether the keywords is in the selection. And then we find the shape 0, which is the number of rows returned given this mask or given this filter. Then we are able to mark down the available rows using streamlit markdown. And then let's give it an F string star available rows yes number of results so we can paste this here okay and now we can also display the data frame here so we can comment this out and display the data frame here using data frame mask so that this will be dynamic and will be changes based on the multi-select of keywords so hit save and we can now move on so let's save and then rerun this so this will take probably take some time to um, run so that we can move on to the next step which is uh, plotting the first graph Plotting the first, the first graph, which is the graph of the keywords, top keywords for ads to appear, or maybe the percentage. Okay, so uh, we can do that by first grouping the data frame based on keyword. So let's create a data frame which is grouped keyword percentage um, data frame and let's create a function which is generate keyword um, and percentage percentage okay and that will take in the data existing data frame and we can define it under here so define uh, define generate keyword at percentage that will take in a data frame and that will return us with a grouped keyword percentage data frame so showing the data frame will be showing every keywords and their percentage of ads 
on based on the keyword itself so last time we see mostly the ads will be on nft instead of crypto or etf so the keyword percentages will be higher for nft and see if the graph will show the similar results so now we can first uh, define a empty list so keyword uh, add percentage percentage equals to a blank list and for keywords keyword that is in the data frame the list of uh, keywords which is this line this list if this data frame keyword equals to that keyword and we can then take in the keyword percentage so let me show this data frame first so we can have uh, we can see the data frame with the keyword company up to the top top bottom bo top percentage bottom percentage and also the last but not the least column which is keyword at percentage so we'll be ranking this based on this so it's called keywords keyword at percentage with so we will be looking at this percentage so we can find actually find the max one because uh, for for the same keyword they will have the same keyword at percentage for example crypto they have 30 percent each keyword inside crypto will have 30 percent of at percentage so we can just find the max and then it's none so if the max of this keyword has the percentage of, of nothing then we can append zero to it so adds percentage percentage not append zero else if there is something the the add percentage is positive then we can append the number to the app percentage okay and we can now create a data frame here called call this grouped group percentage data frame and then we can create using pandas.data frame we can list this and zip it So that will be the list of keywords. So for every keyword in the list, the corresponding percentage will be keyword at percentage. So that will be the uh, list of percentages. And we can then pass in the column names. So columns equals uh, first would be keywords keyword singular next will be percentage okay and then we can sort the data frame data frame dot sort values by the percentages so percentages percentage and then set the ascending to false so that we can see uh, NFT on top with the highest uh, ad percentage S hit save and then we will then have the first data frame here so after we have the group data frame we are able to plot it out
So before we plot it out, we can actually uh, remove the keywords with zero percentage uh, ad percentage. So for example, if crypto doesn't have a percentage for ads, then we can remove it. So generate keyword percentage data frame. We will take the same thing and then if the dot the percentage is not equal to zero. So we will just take the rows that is not non-zero. And that will actually remove rows with zero percentage. Okay. And now we can plot the bar chart. Plot the bar chart here so bar chart equals to we can uh, actually get the plotly express import here so px dot bar and that will take in the first data frame which is the group keyword data frame the x will be keywords so keywords y will be percentages percentage and tax tax will also be percentage the template we can set the template to be plotly white and the title of this plot will be keyword ads percentage with the percent sign and now we can show this using st.plotly chart and put in the bar chart here let's go ahead and hit save and rerun this give it 10 times probably submit and wait for this to process so when we see the plotting results, we can see that uh, actually the keyword ETF has more uh, keyword ads percentages comparing to NFT and also crypto. So we can see that um, ETF has a lot more um, ads percentages and more companies too comparing to NFT and also crypto. And for the multi-select, we're able to select the, all of the keywords by default and the users can cross out cross them out automatically uh, and adjust the data frame so currently there are 16 rows as shown here so the data frame contains uh, 16 entries and now we can move on to the next step which is plotting the um, company's list per keyword so when we take a look at nft you can see that the company coin coin united has more bottoms and also in general more appearance on ads comparing to linker and we can actually show that using a graph for each keyword so nft crypto and etf and we can then compare like which companies are more influential in that keyword and in general the domains okay so we can move back to the code and now create a test data frame so that will group the data frame by by company should be capitalized and then drop na equals true so we can drop the missing rows okay and we can create the company list using company list equals empty and also company count equals empty so for key and item in test data frame the test data frame we can show that it is grouping the companies, um, grouping the data frame by the company. So 
um, which will be um, if we have more data points here for example if we repeat this um, how many times we want the scripting to be run we can set it to more uh, times so that we can find the overlapping companies inside here if we talk about cloud public cloud hybrid cloud then we are able to see like Microsoft Amazon those kind of companies popping out and that is essentially what we're doing in this line of code so group that data frame by company so for each company we will add it to the company list so append the key first as the company name and then we can add in the company count by taking a look at the test data frame dot get group so this will be grouping getting the group of this company the key, that is equal to key and then we can find out the length of this result so that if it shows that um, it appears at multiple times then this this length will be more than zero okay so company um, appearance data frame equals a new data frame. We can use panda dot data frame, and then we can specify a dictionary called um, company will be equal to a company list and the appearance so appearance means the number of times it shows within this list of keywords to be scraped it will be company count okay and the columns will be we can define it here as appearance and then the index will be the company list so we can display this uh, data frame later for you to have a better understanding of how this works, this line of code works. So let me reformat this and go ahead and move on to the next step, which is showing a bar chart. So uh, streamlit.bar chart company appearance appearance data frame should be a typo here and we can actually first go ahead and display the data frame um, here and let's save this and rerun Okay, let's go ahead and display the results. We can see NFT this time is more uh, ads than crypto and ETF combined. And we can now see the, actually the uh, company appearance data frame. So um, actually home appears twice. So ho the company home appears on the keyword crypto and also the ETF showing that uh, they, they dominate this um, list of keywords by this domain. And we can also see different parties, which are Coin, United, Home, it, It's, Zitto, JP Morgan, Plus 500, uh, those kind of companies. And we can show this nice looking um, appearance graph, which is a built-in function by Shrimlet, a built-in bar chart. Okay, so this chart would be showing um, showing the influence within the set of keywords um, inserted. So last but not least, we would like to display each keyword and find out the uh, metrics comparing different companies so for 
uh, for example, when we take a look at um, ETF, we would like to compare the company's home, JP Morgan, uh, Ezito, and also Set Meta by comparing the absolute top uh, top and also bottom percentages. So hopefully if we increase the number of times that we scraped, we're able to see more uh, absolute top, top and bottom counts for each companies. And then we can see the proportion of whether bot has bought the keywords to appear absolute top for a lot of times. So we can take care of this function now. So for keyword, in the list of keywords which we defined beforehand here so keywords in keyword we can first uh, build a data frame f around this keyword being called keyword data frame equals data frame subset data frame uh, keyword equals to that keyword so this will get the uh, key, the data frame for the this particular keyword. And if the length of the keyword data frame is not equals to one, and the keyword data frame company. is not none so this line would actually filter filter the um, keywords without any uh, company or ads so if the keyword doesn't have ads it will show you like NFT uh, NA here as a company so this uh, line keyword company is is none then it will uh, make sure that it is not included so it's not none we will only do something about um, keywords with ads then we can write the keywords keyword first and then we can set a new data frame equals pandas data frame as usual we can create a dictionary so the first thing we can set is the company which is of course keywords uh, data frame company to list so for each keywords there might be a multitude um, companies so this will set it to a list and then we can compare the absolute top we can do keyword data frame absolute top to list so we can actually repeat this multiple times so this will close off the dictionary and we need to pass in the columns. So the columns will be absolute top, absolute top, top, and bottom. And we will set the index to be the keyword. So index equals um, keyword keyword data frame company dot to list we can then finally plot this out by doing st dot bar chart and we'll plot the new data frame individual keyword analysis or just bar chart hit save 
Oh, we forgot the comma it's between each columns. So it's safe. We run. Before we test our finalized web applications and start plotting graphs, we can actually um, correct one error that I made previously. So uh, actually, we don't need this line. So for keyword with the keyword data frame of length one, meaning that uh, there's only one entry for this keyword and one company, there is still a chance that this uh, advertisement keyword can be purchased by one companies. So there will be ads showing for that company only. So we don't need this and statements. We just have to test whether the keyword their frame column company is NA. So let me save and we can actually rerun this. And let's add in more keywords to test whether this works. So um, blockchain stocks web 3.0 cloud computing services task management um, project management digital art so this key set of keywords will actually cover different aspects such as finance stocks um, cloud computing services, task management, which is a part of project management, and also NFT and digital arts. So let me increase these um, number of times to 50, and let's start scraping. And I will be back once the scraping has been finished and the graphs are ready to display. Okay, so the scraping is done. Let's go ahead and display the results. So we got quite a lot of results for NFT, crypto, ETF, uh, not for blockchain, stocks, cloud computing services, task management, project management, and no digital arts. So. When we take a look at the keywords at percentages, so task management actually has the most, more than half of the percentages for uh, ads to appear and closely followed by ETF, project management, and these kind of keywords. NFT, crypto, uh, stocks, and cloud computing services. So this, so this graph actually shows how influential each company is uh, when it comes to the set of keywords. So when we take a look at home and set meta, these two companies actually rank three keywords out of 10 keywords, which accounts for 30% um, appearance on this set of keywords. So when we take a look at home and also set meta, in the data frame, we can actually see they rank for crypto, um, ETF, and I believe, yes, yeah, stocks. So set meta also stocks. Um, project management, which is kind of interesting for stocks and uh, project management to come together and also ETF, which makes more sense. So next it will be f uh, for each individual keywords. So for NFT, we can see there are four companies ranking for the ads. So Coin United, uh, like La Collections, uh, Linkter, and also Top Toe. So uh, we can clearly see the winner here, which is Coin United with more actually more bottom ads than Absolute Top. And these two companies only rank for absolute top, um, but not um, much of an appearance for bottom and top. And for crypt crypto, we can see that home and also the company plus 500. And home actually ranks twice more than um, plus 500. And for ETF, we actually have a more sophisticated graph and more interesting graphs with more companies. And, but we have a winner here, which is iFact. So 
um, it actually uh, dominated the up to the top and also top and less of a bottom so we see a lot m lot more uh, healthy uh, advertisement ranking based on the list of companies here and which means that um, ETF is actually one of the most uh, sought after keyword for companies to put their ads on and for blockchain we got none so no no graphs for this and for stocks we also see a more a diverse graph with a home and set meta uh, dominating the the space but home actually got more absolute top than set meta even though their total appearance are similar um, it can be shown that home may actually purchase this keyword maybe to appear on absolute top more times and for web 3.0 i think it's uh mo mostly a concept for now not necessarily a marketable um, tour or concepts yet and for cloud computing services we see Accenture, Amazon and HPE which we actually don't see a clear winner here and Amazon might have more um, balanced appearance than Accenture and also HPE with more absolute top and top and for task management uh, my favorite too is actually Notion but uh, other competitors such as uh, ClickUp and GapTap and also monday.com which you should actually see the advertisements on YouTube that they're promoting and for the last one which is the project management we also see flex workflow monday.com as well and also set meta which is very interesting considering their uh, nature of business and so that's pretty much it for this tutorial Hopefully you guys learned something new about um, how you can plot competitor analysis graphs based on the this data frame which comes from the uh, keyword ad scraping. So we have a list of keywords for uh, users to add in and they can specify how many times they want this keyword scraping to be run and then we can generate a holistic graphs and also some kind of competitor analysis based on the generated results so we can clearly tell which keywords has the most potential for ads to appear uh, we can also see which companies are actually the more influential ones for this set of keywords domains so that's pretty much it for this tutorial hopefully you guys have learned something new about how you can plot competitor analysis graphs based on the keyword ad scraping results using the web scraper that we've built previously and this web application is actually uh, made possible using streamlit which is actually the um, so-called the fastest way of displaying data and generating an application for uh, users to control the inputs for example this slider and also this a set of keywords tags and we can clearly dis display the uh, data generated uh, resultant data frame and also plot various graphs with Plotly and also built-in graphs with uh, Streamlit. So the source code will be uh, listed in the description. It will be all inside my GitHub repository of YouTube and feel free to check it out. And also if you have a frequent need for web scraping and add scraping feel free to check out the uh, scraper api and also use the promo code af10 for 10 percent off thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video bye guys